So when it comes to building apps for Android, you first need to choose what's called an IDE or a development uh, environment and uh, well integrated development environment I guess I forgot the I there but uh, it's important to figure out what you're going to use to be building the uh, the app itself now what I'd like to show you in this series is using Android Studio and there's several reasons for that uh, one of them being that it's free which is a big plus uh, the other one being that it's very simple to use which is also a big plus and uh, that uh, it's uh, readily available and there's lots of community support as well. And that's true of a lot of different uh, options for IDEs, and you're welcome to try any of them, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be using Android Studio. Now, uh, if you go to any web search, you know, like Google or whatever, and you type Android IDE, you're going to get a whole gambit of things that you can look at. Uh, like, uh, here's this 11 best or 7 best um, and here's a top list that I brought up here that lists several as well. And this uh, this list uh, uh, just lists some key features and things that uh, that they rated them on, and they uh, they put them in this in this order. So from the ones that are on here, uh, number one was Android Studio, number two was Eclipse, three was Visual Studio and so on and so forth. I've actually used uh, Android Studio. Eclipse, Visual Studio. I tried NetBeans, but I was not very successful with it. Um, and then I have also used Aid uh, several times as well. Um, so uh, lots of different options out there. Um, of all of them, I'd say I prefer Android Studio the best. Um, it is available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, and uh, you know, as you can see, the license is freeware, so it's not um, open source, but it is it is freely available and uh, free price tag on that. Uh, languages supported Java, C, C++, and Kotlin, and uh, it's built specifically for making Android. And maybe that's why it's the best for making Android, because a lot of these other ones are for building multiple. Uh, different operating systems, iOS, Android, Windows, um, you know, cross-platform, Cordova for building Mac OS and Ubuntu. Uh, lots of extra features that don't necessarily equate to what you're trying to do when you're building uh, for your Android phone. So uh, I will also, though, mention Aid uh, was super handy. Um, one of the things that... Uh, that I used to do was to work with aid because you install that actually on your current cell phone and it's an Android application and you build your apps from there it's a little bit tedious to use um, and it is proprietary and it does you can get it for free but there's in-app purchases and you actually need to in-app some of the purchases to get most of the features to work um, the free features are very limited in what you can do, uh, and it's very difficult to work with if you don't purchase the in-app purchases. But it's only, um, well, this was uh, probably two years ago now, but it was only, I think, uh, uh, 6 or 7 or maybe even $10 tops. Uh, but uh, So it's not very expensive, and it's really handy because you compile it, and, and then you run it immediately on the phone that you're holding in your hand. So uh, pretty handy, like if you do a lot of commuting where you're uh, not the driver, hopefully, and just riding along, uh, this might be an, a viable option um, for you to consider is using something like Aid. Uh, perhaps later we can do a little tutorial where we work with Aid and uh, see um, how well that works. But uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to be looking at Android Studio and how we can use that. So, uh, how do we get Android Studio? Well, of course, in our Android IDE, the first thing to pop up was Android Studio, but you could even go Android Studio, and then again, you're going to get to the official website. Once you click on that, uh, you know, the um, download section of Android Studio here, and uh, it will automatically detect what version operating system you're using right now and suggest that you download that. But there are options if you want to download something else. 
I'm using this on a um, Ubuntu, uh, you know, uh, 18.04 computer here. So you can just download uh, Android Studio by clicking the button, and it's going to download it. And uh, once you have it downloaded, it's actually like a zip file that you unzip, and you don't have to install anything, which is really great. Uh, you just go into that place where you've unzipped it. In my case, I put it in my home folder in Alaska Linux user under installed, and then I have Android Studio was unzipped, and this is the bin file. And pretty much from the terminal, you would just run this, this studio shell, which is going to launch it. I went ahead and, and mapped it to a button here on my, uh, on my desktop. Um, so that way it's really easy for me to use. And I can just click the button and it opens right up. So uh, pretty straightforward to install that. There's lots of uh, you know help that you can get on how to install that. Uh, but that's that's pretty much the basics of where you get it. You're going to this, uh, you know, just do a web search for Android Studio, and you can go ahead and click onto the download section and download the version for your operating system, whether you're using Windows, uh, Mac, or uh, Linux. And I've never run it on anything except Linux, but from what I understand, it will look and act pretty much the same as what I'm showing you here in this tutorial. So uh, do keep in mind, though, that uh, the versions do change over time. And so if you download a version, if you're watching this video, let's say in six months after I made it, and there's a slightly newer version, it may look a little bit different, but the principle is still going to be the same. And we're just looking at building a very, very, very basic app for the purpose of running a super user command uh, that uh, will hopefully be helpful to us.